Hey everyone, my name is Gabriel Nkansu Bernard and I'm from the University of Portsmouth studying graphic design. Today I'd love to invite you into the world of science and symbols. Well, what is science and symbols? Science and symbols is a flash photography project which explores the decorative symbols of West Africa, Ghana. Now to say for starters, Ghana is such a country of rich history and heritage and my home country as well, which is one of the main driving forces of the reason why I want to explore this project. Some of the main aims for this project was to present these Negro symbols of West Africa to a modern and contemporary audience. Each symbol represents something different. The symbol my t-shirt here represents strength and humility. Some t-shirts, some symbols represent um, faith and trust and some symbols represent creativity. In phase one of this project, I set out to explore flash photography using projecting lights, using photography and the studio in my university. Fortunately enough with COVID restrictions easing in the UK as of the academic year of 2021, I was able to collaborate with my peers and to, ex to explore phase one by taking pictures of each of my friends and assigning them each symbol which I believe works well with their personality and them as a person. In phase one, I set out to explore this, explore the symbols in, a, in a, almost like a sacred lens and also in the way of celebration and paying homage to the lyrical symbols of Ghana. In phase two, I went for a magazine or zine style photography. I made t-shirts, such as the t-shirt I'm wearing here now. And through these t-shirts and through this new branding I kind of set up, set up for, I want to explore these symbols, the symbols through a young and fun way, through such as the t-shirts and the magazine style um, photography. Fortunately this year, also with restrictions easing up, I was able to make, I was able to make screen print t-shirts and was able to have more access to university facilities. Now as you see around me, here are some of the outcomes of how it went. Personally, I really love both phases of the project, and now when it came to pulling these phases together, I decided to give the name Phase 1 and Phase 2 to kind of create a series of pictures or to kind of assemble them together. Concerning some of my final learning outcomes from this, I really enjoyed this project. It was, it was a way for me to express myself, express my culture, and present areas of graphic design, especially in Africa, they may not get the light, the light of day normally. I hope you enjoyed this project, that was for me.